Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. So today I would like to talk to you about something called loss aversion. Um, now first of all I do have a bit of a cold so I do apologise if I snuffle at any point. Um, but the reason I'd like to talk to you about this today is I think it's something that is more common in our society than we uh, imagine it today. So what is loss aversion? Um, if you have never heard of it, basically it's a condition or um, a mental state of mind perhaps, a subconscious state of mind um, where you avoid um, making relationships because you fear the pain of loss and you, I think you subconsciously feel as well that you're not going to cope with it. Um, now I didn't know this was a real thing uh, until I typed in some of the things I noticed in myself and uh, looked basically on Google. So um, what does loss aversion create in you? Well it makes it very difficult um, to form strong bonds and close relationships basically. So. Um, whether that's with your family, your friends, um, maybe it's a romantic relationship, whatever it might be, maybe you know, who, maybe it's with work colleagues, it could be with anything or any kind of scale really. Um, and there are some symptoms associated with that. So first of all, um, and you might recognise this in yourself or maybe somebody you know, um, people have a tendency to be very on and off with relationships and what I mean by that is I don't mean kind of the love-hate relationship I mean they'll be a lot in contact and then they'll withdraw the contact and then they'll be in contact and then they'll withdraw the contact now we all do that at some point because of life life gets in the way um, but people with loss of aversion are I think more likely to do it when they sense um, that they're getting too close to somebody, even for me, for example, even uh, with my best friend, I sometimes struggle to be close to her and tell her um, things that are that I have struggled with and, and be truthful, um, or well, not to be truthful, I haven't obviously lied to her, but I, you know, I avoid the topics of conversation, I just don't bring them up. Um, she must find it quite confusing at times. Um, as I say, if you have somebody like this, it's not necessarily that they don't like you or they're not bothered. Um, they are probably doing it subconsciously, so don't take it personally. It's, it's to do with them, not you. Um, as I say, with, with my best friend and me, it's to do with me, not, not her, obviously. Um, so where, where does loss aversion come from? Um, for me, and probably for quite a few others, it comes from sort of past events. So I have <coughs> lost quite a lot of people um, in my life, um, not only to death but um, to moving on. I have been through four schools, I have lived in, I think this is our sixth building that we live in. Um, you know, changed three times over the past sort of three years. Um, before that, I lived in. Uh, I currently live in in Wales, which is in the UK. It's a country within the UK. Uh, for those of you who are are overseas, uh, before then I used to live uh, in in England, in uh, the middle of England, and then before then I used to live in the north of England. Um, and at one point, I changed three schools in three years. Um, I change workplaces about every two years. Um, you know, I've been through several institutions. You know, in terms of school and colleges and things like that. And um, I do find it very hard to make new contacts because I think every time you go through that, the willingness inside you to be open is less and less and less. You go to people with the door half closed because you're nervous of them, you're nervous of liking them and you're also nervous of, um, I, 
guess investing and, and not liking them as well because that's you know a waste of your time and your effort and I um, it can be quite emotionally hard to take so I know but um, a lot of myself I haven't bothered um, or I just decide that you know people aren't my cup of tea they don't like me even though that not be, might not be true and um, I kind of you know just stay clear um, it also means that I avoid group meetups um, this year for example my uh, team at work one of the teams at work um, organised paintballing day which you know is we haven't done that before and quite a lot of people from different departments went um, and I just didn't go because I don't want to form those bonds um, I am aware that you know one of my aims is to move back close towards my mum who's not in in the same country as me she's across the border in England um, and that if I create those relationships it is going to hurt a lot when I do uh, decide to leave um, and so I, I avoided that day I didn't go um, and if you don't understand loss aversion and you're not aware that somebody's suffering from it you might think they're reclusive you might think that they don't like you you might think that they're stuck up you might think they're lazy you might think they're not being genuine um, when they appear to be interested in you because they then withdraw later on and it really isn't any of those things um, for me at least I know where uh, my kind of fear comes from um, you might say oh, it's all in your head and a lot of people might say oh, it's all in your head it is a very real thing um, and I just wanted to share that with you tonight um, to sort of highlight uh, this kind of issue in society so as always <coughs> excuse me um, comment below and um, let me know your thoughts and feelings um, maybe you are um, you know you have observed something in life and maybe you're obviously not a psychologist or maybe you are uh, but maybe you're you just have some life experience that you'd like to share um, maybe you have some helpful hints and tips um, maybe you know you you're going through something yourself and you need to put a label on this or you think you know gosh I actually realize what's happening now with you know whoever maybe yourself maybe as I say somebody you know maybe someone in your past who you're now not in contact with um, it would just be really interesting to, to hear what you have to say so uh, as I say do feel free to add your thoughts below um, I'm always there on pipweekly.com as well to contact me um, there is a contact page and of course lots and lots of helpful vlogs about things like this that are stopping you living your best life um, and of course I'm on Facebook as well again pipweekly.com and Instagram, um, again, it's pipweekly.com. So do feel free to join me. I try and post on Instagram and Facebook every day. Um, and I release, um, I tell everybody about my blog releases and uh, video releases there as well. So that's really the place to be, the Facebook page. So uh, that's all from me. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, until next time, you take care. Bye now.